So let's take a look at what's possible with the Google Drawing by just getting comfortable with the basic features. We're going to start by creating a Google Drawing. One of the first things that I look at is how I can insert basic shapes. There are lots of options. I'm going to just go with basic shape. You can play around with how you fill that shape. You can explore perhaps the line color. You can change the thickness of your line or even the type of the line. You can add other features in easily. You can also adjust the size of your canvas either manually by dragging it, manipulating it to the size that you want. I'm going to make this one really large. Or you can also go to Page Setup in the File menu. This allows you to either create standard templates or to customize by inches, centimeters, points, or even pixels. One great thing to do is to overlap elements. This is great, particularly when you're creating a graphic organizer and in overlapping those elements. You can also adjust for transparency. In order to do that, you go to fill color. You can make it completely transparent, or if you want it to have a color, go to custom. This gives you your color palette. Select whatever color you want to work with. This, of course, will be for the tinting of the color or the shading and then this is where you can slide to give it more transparency if you wish. Creating a shape that you can see through. Another thing that you can do with your tools, I'm going to change color on this, is you can group objects and lock them into place. Highlight the objects that you want to put together put these three. Let's say I want to put these two together. So draw a box around those, go to arrange and group. This will put these elements together so that you can manipulate or move them around. You can also change the order of elements. You can bring something to the front so that it's on top or you can send it backward. You can also rotate and flip. Let's try this one. Let's flip it horizontally and vertically. Other things that you can do are working with images. You can upload your own images easily. You can use the image tool here, upload ones you already have something you have in your drive, or you can search for images right within. I love then that the results are already being filtered for ones that you can use. Let's say we're looking for shoes. Select the image we want, and it puts it right into our canvas for us. We can also insert Word art. Love that I can change the style. I can change the fill color of my word art. I can change the outline color of my word art. Just great tools to play with. Move my word art here. And then finally, consider your line tools. There's quite a variety where you can create connectors, and these are great for your flow charts. I love the scribble at times. This is great for young children when they're working with a touchpad. Using that scribble tool, you can actually try to write in cursive. Here's a super fun fact if you need to 
digitally sign a document and you're working with a Google document, you can do an insert a drawing and actually sign your signature this way. So these are just some of the basics. Once you've got the basics of the tools down, you can create anything really, um, adapting things that you're already doing or showing students the features so that they can express their own creativity and show what they know. Don't forget, of course, to title your drawings. And when you go to share your drawing with others, if you want to make sure that they are unable to change your template, add that they can comment or that they can view. And that's some ways that you can work with Google Drawings.